One of the toughest players on tour to beat, and this is on a daily basis. Is he going to start off with a nine? Starting off with a nine. Yeah, it's these big events you have to make inroads. It really is. Unless you are winning a lot of others. Rob Cross is looking a million dollars, isn't it? Lord may show, yes. yeah. And what you said about Guillen. Stuart, absolutely bang on. He will rise up the rank. Van Veen will not take out the 170. Is it? A huge misjudgment. What a shot this would be! Oh, what a shot! Only winning leg. He will not stay there. That's correct. Double eight. For three two at the break. And that is three two at the break. What are you putting kid? Yeah. He's 22 years of age. And he's already equipped at winning darts matches. Amazing final. So capable, so often. Back in business against the throw. Well. I think he was down and out, wasn't he? Was it 8-2? Yes, he was, yeah. yeah. It was here. Doby said that was the worst defeat. That he'd close to the time. That his darts land, does it give him a better chance at, at the ball? He may not get another shot at a double here. This is a huge dart to cross. That was starting with the 59. And then Rob in two 60s, followed by another oh, three. Vane. Cross never lost belief, did he? Look at that. Just to add a fifth 180. He's taken out a 170. He'll have to take this out of field. Oh. Bullseye again. Astonishing. Absolutely. Ah, chance again for Van Vane. More than a chance. Wow, four 180s, and all of a sudden... This could be the crunch moment here, because if this misses and Rob pops, then he's bang under it. Bullseye! Oh, oh, oh. The bullseye is supposed to be the hardest target on the board to hit, and now is it in trebles first down. Oh, We're within a minute of... ...produced what he's produced after losing six consecutive legs, and he's continuing to produce. Astonishing! He's now 1-8-1 after six, and now 2-2-1 two, two, after six. That's going to cause anyone to feel like they're vulnerable. What a response! 11-9. That's his seventh. At this point, when you retrieve your darts and you're troubleless, trouble is always around the corner. And they to win 11 9, to win 13 11, and Rob Cross is going to put him away. Milky tomorrow night. Oh, what a start from Joe Curlin. I said the confidence has been fragile. When it's fragile, you want to make a good start. Mm, sounds a good from Curlin, though. Mm, he had an opportunity at 111. He's going to get an opportunity as a brilliant second dart. And he pins the top, so that was needed. Yeah. We'll have opportunities to get in at 3 2 here. Curlin gives him, though, a timely nudge. Second match of the match. Both have gone to Curlin. From Cullen. Third out from Joe Cullen. As you mentioned, if he can just get that double break, that's that cushion. And see the finger from Brendan Doe. Yeah, this is a superb response to the 11 darts at fourth maximum for Cullen. Oh, we've got 11 darts from Brendan. Yeah, it really is, but I do think. Cullen would have gone into that second break. Slightly disappointed that he didn't. A bit more of an advantage. Dolan. No ton plus finishes yet from Joe. There's an opportunity here. And he gets his first ton plus finish. And look at him. Really settled up there, has he? And still, he's managing to creep his average up here. But Cullen senses 
this is here, if he'll take him wide, wouldn't he? He's 8 4 up, his average is above 100. He's had wide 130. Here's the treble, find the treble for Bolt. The impenetrable is uh, Jim Cullen. With... Familiar start, right over to the left hand side, then kind of shuffles his feet, looks at the target, aims, fires. And it's a yeah, he meant to go low. Three. And now Gilding can escape. Up, down, and back up again for Tops. And Andrew Gilding with a top plus out. He's very good. 98 average from Peter Wright. Doesn't seem that good. Shows you how good he is. It's over a ton now. Gilding averaging 90. Did he require 121? May not get a poke at the 88 anyway. 11 or treble. Bullseye now. Oh, Pro Tour and at Euro Tour. To the 11s. Double 14 for 3 0. And the Polish Eagle is bot. Christoph Ratajski is in that high 90s average where for genuinely years that's where he just lived.